I was using uh, Soundflower to capture audio on my computer and also audio from my microphone to use it for video editing and screen capture. But enter Catalina and now Soundflower doesn't work properly. So there is an alternative and I've actually tried out many different methods and found this to be the best. So I thought I'll make this so that even I can refer back at a later point in time if I have to do it again. So what you do is you have, like I said, sound flowers, the option at a certain point. Right now you have the black hole. It's available on GitHub. Go to the site and if you go to easy installation instructions you can just click here and download the package and follow the instruction to install the package i won't go into the details because it's pretty straightforward what you do next is you search for audio midi setup and when you open audio midi setup once you've installed black hole it will be listed there you will need two extra components an aggregate device and a multi output device you can add it here i've already done it so i won't do it again you can create aggregate device create multi output device now what that does is the aggregate device acts as your microphone you can see the microphone symbol here and your multi output device acts as your output basically what you would hear through your system the good thing about these are in your aggregate device you can include multiple inputs as your source and your multi output device can output your system sound a combination of sounds through multiple outputs so here what i've done is i have selected black hole as a device and also the sennheiser usb headset that i'm using right now and if you have configured other devices and if they are offline it will show that it's offline but that's okay you don't have to untick it so here what i've done is i've selected the Sennheiser USB headset and also the black hole and the clock source I've kept it as Sennheiser another important thing is in the sample rate please note that all the sample rates should be the same if you accidentally select a different sample rate you might get a small jitter in your audio and in the multi output so aggregate device we have actually combined the Sennheiser and the black hole black hole what it's doing is it's actually acting as a channel to take in the computer audio the mac audio and bring it out through its system so right now we've got the computer the mac audio and also the mic audio combined into an aggregate device in the multi output device since i'm listening to it on the Sennheiser i've selected Sennheiser the black hole and the built in audio i'll tell you why i've selected both these outputs because you can actually switch in your mac audio control between the devices so once you've done this go to your sound preferences and in the sound preferences in the input select the aggregate device that you've added so basically you are now combining inputs from the black hole and the Sennheiser and that's becoming one input on the output side you can select multi output device 
the next aggregate device and it will give you an output through your selected outputs now right now I'm recording this through my USB mic and I'll just play a track from YouTube sometime and then you will get get add enough milk to have it slightly liquidish so right now that is and then put it back on the fire playing along with add some pepper white pepper my voice possible. from the mic or black pepper so. I'll pause this and now we've captured audio from both the microphone okay. and some the salt YouTube some channel. oregano if you have it or if you got some pepper uh, pizza seasoning and that now recording this you can use multiple options you already have QuickTime player so if you don't have any other software I use Camtasia for my presentation so right now what you're hearing is coming through Camtasia in QuickTime you can select new audio recording you can actually select the device as aggregate device and you can see that as I speak it's taking the inputs and if I play the YouTube video and keep stirring and at this point of time you got an option is adding some green. so I'm not press pressing record right now because if I press it since I'm already recording the system will halt the recording so this is how you do it so you press record you record the f file and you have audio from both your microphone created G suite and you can your, buy and your system so one more small thing when you switch back to the output device that you normally use speaker you may have a difficulty in uh, this may or may not happen I've got this issue so this is a solution you may or may not have this issue of no sound coming out from the speaker so if you if that happens just click the mute once and then unmute again so you the sound will pop back up so hope uh, this video has been useful and if you like it, please share and subscribe. Thank you.